Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we switch the language? Pinch me if you've heard this before, but today we're going over to the Vegas Golden Knights and we're talking about Jack Eichel. We're talking about his season so far. We're going over the performance he has had ever since coming over to Vegas and a pretty recent stint wherein he actually got called out by his head coach right there in the media for the public to see. Jack Eichel is a name that needs no introduction. He is a guy that had the spotlight shined upon him during the end of his Buffalo Sabres days. A former second overall pick, Eichel was a stud for the Sabres, however, that team was never really able to get over the hump. Like they are now, at least. Eichel was on a losing team after a losing team after a losing team, and we knew that he was a competitive guy, and he wanted to play for winners, and he was frustrated with the team's performance, and... Towards the end, even before all the surgery shenanigans began, you could definitely tell that as the years went on in Buffalo, Eichel's heart started to wane a little bit in terms of how he performed for the team. Now, don't get me wrong, he would still go out there and score points, but the way this guy acted as the captain of the team definitely had a different aura around it when you consider just how much he wanted to win and how frustrated he was that it wasn't happening in Buffalo. Then the surgery shenanigans happened, he got traded to Vegas, he got the surgery, and now he's back in the NHL. This season, if you isolate just Eichel's overall point production by itself, it's actually pretty good. Like, high key, this is not bad in the slightest, seeing the guy get 34 points in 33 games played. He is over a point per game on pace for 71 points in 69 games played because he already missed a little bit. Very nice amount of games played, by the way. And if Eichel goes out there and finishes off this season with this amount of points, it would put him back up in line with the prime seasons he had as the captain of the Sabres a few years ago. However, when it comes to this point production metric of being over a point per game, you gotta acknowledge that somewhere along the line, Eichel's overall production started to take a dip. This is because he used to be over a point per game, and by quite a lot as well. This is why, if you go over to what Bruce Cassidy, Vegas Golden Knights head coach, said about Jack Eichel, this is where things get very interesting. This is an article on Yahoo Sports. It's the same website that does the fantasy stuff, written by Michael Hode from earlier today. It goes over some comments made by Cassidy, talking about Eichel, and I feel like this is really the part where you start to feel a bit of deja vu. Before looking at the comments, though, this is what the article says. One player who hasn't been able to pick up the slack is star forward Jack Eichel, who had a hot start to the season but has not looked the same since returning from an 11-game absence of his own on January 6. The 26-year-old has just two goals since being activated from the IR and hasn't scored during the Golden Knights' current losing skid while posting a minus four rating. The Golden Knights have lost three games in a row. The performance has left Bruce Cassidy looking for more. Jack just hasn't been the same driving force for us as he was at the start of the year at both ends of the ice, Cassidy told reporters after Thursday's loss to the Red Wings. The expectations are not being met from Jack. He needs to be better for us, especially as we're down a few guys that create offense for us. He needs to be one of the drivers. And when I saw this pop up in my timeline, I was like, whoa, okay. You know, when it comes to Jack Eichel, he's a guy that definitely has had his cold streaks in the past. I think a lot of Buffalo Sabres fans are very familiar with periods of time where Eichel was not really playing his best, but to have him be put on blast publicly like this, that's a first. Here's a comment on the subreddit on our hockey from Six Salamander, Vegas Golden Knights fan, talking about Eichel and the way he has played so far. In his last five games, Eichel has one goal, one assist, and he's a minus eight. In the last three games, he took a total of four shots. He didn't have a single shot against Edmonton despite playing 19 minutes. He is still over a point per game of the year, but this definitely is a mini slump. Not like anyone else on the team has been doing anything either, though. Zach Suk then goes out there and replies, I'm a Wings fan. He was so invisible tonight, I thought he was injured. The whole Vegas roster was absent until the last five minutes. They played like a team that doesn't care. You then have a little exchange amongst two Sabres fans saying, that sounds familiar. GM Eichel has gotten coaches fired for less. I don't remember Bausma or Housley ever criticizing him publicly. Here's another comment made by a Sabres fan replying to an Oilers fan. The Oilers fan says he honestly looked injured when he was playing against Edmonton. He was slow to the puck and he didn't look like the usual Eichel at all. There was one instance where he fell and took a good while to get back on his skates and then just cruised around the rest of the game. 
The Sabres fan then replies saying that doesn't sound too unusual to be honest. For us, he had entire games where he just stopped caring, and instead he'd coast around until he got a breakaway or something, and then he would keep on coasting. Another Sabres fan, Sujimoto3, by the way, great username, ends up saying the same thing you literally just described about 56% of his career in Buffalo. And this is sort of where the Boston fans come in as well, because Bruce Cassidy going out there and talking about a guy so publicly in the media calling him out, unfortunately isn't really a new thing. This was sort of how he managed the Bruins, and over time, he lost that locker room. This is a comment from the Bruins fans on the same post. Love you, Bruce, but this is exactly why you lost our room. Keep this stuff in-house. Ice Beverage says, yeah, I remember at first when Bruce Cassidy took over, I loved that he was very frank and honest about the team's challenges. Like, not just a canned answer of we have to be better, but more, I thought our power play one was sluggish and didn't make good passes. Power play two was better at finding the seams and zone entries, etc. But then he started to give more personal player feedback. Jake DeBrusque needs to move his feet more. His effort wasn't there, comments. And it just didn't feel like the right forum for that. But on one hand, his frankness was interesting to hear as a fan because you get an actual coach's perspective on players, but on the other hand, as a player, I would be pretty pissed off. Now, of course, this differs from person to person. Some will value the honesty, others will value the saving face, but for Jack Eichel, he is not used to this. And I'm very intrigued as to seeing how he's going to respond the next few days, not just in the media with the comments to the reporters and everything, but like, in his on-ice play. Eichel has never really faced this much level of adversity where he got directly called out. All the adversity he had faced over in Buffalo was kind of a slow burn. It took years and years of the team underperforming and him being frustrated while also scoring points and having a few cold streaks in there to get to the point where now, I mean, with the surgery being the last straw, he ended up getting traded. And Vegas is a team where, I mean, you talk about them and their progress with all the acquisitions they have made. They got Pacioretty, they traded Pacioretty away, they got Stone, they got Petrangelo, they got Eichel. This team kind of does everything on speedrun mode, you know? Like, it's a weird way to describe them, but they're always getting the next best player, making big trades, making signings and everything. And with Cassidy, I mean, there was a comment thread going around in this Reddit post saying that he's speed running the path of getting the team dysfunctional in the locker room because in Boston over time, that kind of happened. But I mean, everything goes big and goes fast and goes hard in Vegas, right? So maybe this entire Eichel thing was set to happen from the beginning, but because Vegas is Vegas, it's going to happen within the span of like a year rather than five or six years, like it did in Buffalo or in Boston in Cassidy's case. But either way, this is intriguing. I wanted to make this video just to keep it in the back of your mind that this is a thing that is going on. And as a result, I feel like it introduces the topic of Eichel into the forefront once more, because now you realize that the guy, even though he's a point per game player, has had a pretty bad stretch ever since returning from injury, and now he's getting lambasted in the media because of it. Despite the fact that these patterns in his game are not new, it's very intriguing to note how he's, for the first time, pretty much getting criticized in the public eye because of it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this Eichel thing with Vegas VR Sabres fan. What are your thoughts on the analysis of how Eichel has played in the last few games over here? Is it somewhat of a deja vu assessment of how Eichel used to play in Buffalo? Or is this not really that big of a deal? Do you think Eichel is a good enough player that he'll go out there and rebound? If you're a Vegas fan, what are your thoughts on what you've been seeing? And if you're a fan of the Oilers or the Red Wings, what are your thoughts on what you had seen in your recent games against Vegas as well? Talk to the console your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye. <laughs>